Hey guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. I don't know how this keeps happening that I race home and decide to film at the last minute whilst the sun is about to set. I'm liking this location because there's less glare but it doesn't leave me enough room to have my light box and we're losing light rapidly and I'm liking natural light at the moment. But anyway, today's video is uh, August, shoot, August favourites. Everybody's forgetting what month it is. And I'm going to get straight into it. I have uh, quite a few <clears throat> and beauty. Uh, favourite lashes are these that are on at the moment. They are my Vixens from Socialize. I have shown you them before in many hauls. Uh, I like them, they're big and fluttery and they just work well on my eye. I prefer them, I know I get a lot of comments but nonetheless I like them. On the lips, loving Too Faced Melted Lipsticks at the moment. I have the Melted Metal uh, in the Peony, Melted Peony and I have the Melted Chihuahua which is just the regular melted. This one's uh, metallic, you may have seen it in uh, my previous video where I tried it on for you guys. I did a try on. It was fun. Uh, lip gloss, lip lacquer wise, I really love this Revlon HD lip lacquer in 530 Rose Quartz. I have shown that a few times too. This I showed and hauled. Sorry if I'm going fast, but we're left with nothing. I showed in my haul from Mecca as well. It is the Stila, Stila uh, smudge proof, uh, waterproof eyeliner in the color Spice. You guys, I have to rave about this. If you are a smudgy, watery, runny eye girl and you don't like putting on tons and tons of eyeliner especially in tight lining in the waterline or other than just smoking out if you like how that looks but they always tend to smudge on you and you have watery eyes like I do then get your hands on this it's not really a cheapy I guess it's not drugstore uh, still is not I don't think well in Australia it's not so it's not cheap cheap but it's great it does not smudge it does not move from my eye so definitely a super fave and get your hands on it if you have smudgy eyes like moi this was a cheapy cheapy cheerful it's not cheap drugstore is not cheap I always watch like tutorials where they're like I'm doing a, a drugstore face which is cheaper options I'm like it's not cheap anymore girl drugstore is really expensive uh, well at least it is here in Australia L'Oreal Paris infallible mattifying base so this is the infallible mattifying primer I did show this on snapchat I gave my snapchat followers a little demo I guess not really a demo because you can't film yourself doing things on snapchat but love this it's silicone base similar to professional I had wanted to replace professional and it's got that beautiful silicone feeling so there so therefore it fills all the pores and fine lines and things of that nature and I really like it it does mattify to put on my foundation on top speaking of foundation these two little gems I know it's all over YouTube at the moment if you watch reviews and whatnot uh, first impressions things like that um, fit me Maybelline fit me poreless and dewy smooth matte poreless and dewy smooth I picked up both they were on special in price line if I'm not correct if I can remember I picked both of them up to try them I wanted to try new foundations other than just always going for my true match my L'Oreal True Match. I picked them up in the 120 Classic Ivory. I haul these. And, but in the bottle, that the dewy looks darker. Both of them I love. At first, I just used the dewy. No, correction. At first, I just used the matte poreless. It was quite dusty. I showed you my twin set review or clutch, Louis Vuitton clutch, monogram, clutch arm prank clutch god knows what it's called now I showed you in that review that I was kind of like powdery that was because I just had this and a powder over the top then the next step I mixed them together it worked nicely 
but then I just tried them again separately I just kept mucking around this does leave you quite dewy obviously so if you do have oilier skin you definitely need a setting powder on top and it says that on the outside of the packet it suggests the fit me fit me setting powder and then this one obviously is quite mattifying so some days I want to be matte some days I want to be dewy so it's cool having both they're both 30 ml or one fluid ounce and I hope they come out with the pump packaging because it's just a nozzle a uh, no nozzle it's just an opening like so the best way I apply it is with my beauty blender my beauty blender is going to RIP very very shortly it's starting to like fall apart and just continuously on the clean and it's just I know it's gonna die a very quick death so I need a new one this is mostly beauty oh my god it's so different for me three nail polishes on the geo this month a lot towards the end of this month and when I have one coat on today because I don't know why I was rushing out I was saying oh, my husband was rushing me 500 caramel cupcake it's been in the last few videos by Rimmel London 60 super shine uh, beautiful nude nude color with a pink undertone I only have one coat on today so it kind of looks ombre on these nails then I've got sinful colors 264 vacation time is definitely been a fave it's a beautiful kind of pinky undertone uh, um, terracotta color so I really like that it reminds me so much of barefoot in Barcelona which I don't own by OPI but I get it all the time when I get a fill in the nail salon and then of course I had to mention this guy again I think I did last favorites 37 from essence color nail gel nail color sorry essence 37 serendipity I I mean this is alongside of my Derrick nude it's that kind of lavendery gray color I just want Derrick nude in the biggest size possible it is hands down my go-to polish if I don't know what I want to paint my nails I did put out a post on Instagram last night saying do you guys want to see a nail polish and perfume collection video because I was so inspired by my babe Nas hi Nastasia Nastasia M53 is my good friend here on YouTube and she just did a perfume collection video and it was really inspiring what's so cool about it is to see what other people wear constantly and then what they wear sometimes and the reasons for that I think Perfume is so personal and it reacts differently on your skin. So it's nice to just hear what other people think and they use. So speaking of perfume, the reason I told you that was because this is truthfully amazing. Absolutely amazing. It may, I don't know, react differently on your skin. That's why you always go and test it. I always go in and I test it by just smelling it or spraying it on a card. But what they say you should do is spray on your skin because then you'll see later what it smells like so I had said in a vlog that mum smelt so nice for the rest of the day wearing this and it's so true so it is my Burberry from Burberry it is the cutest little bottle it is the 30 ml or one fluid ounce and it is just so darn cute we are using it a lot it is very florally but super fresh a little bit musky I'd say a little bit cinnamony as well so it's really nice I would say this is an all year round uh, perfume as well not just a one kind of season perfume which is good to know Whew! it is coming fast at you today it, it just really is I it kind of feels like verbal diarrhea but we can't stop it so we're not going to this 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 is number one OMG if you are thinking about the Louis Vuitton toiletry uh, case in size 19 this is the middle size there is a 15 and there is a 26 this is the 19 do it don't wait go and get your hands on it because the square shape is just handy on another level I never thought I would uh, uh, I don't know get good use out of this little item I just always thought it would just be another pouch Jerusha doesn't need another pouch in her collection but nonetheless it has proven to be an absolute gem these come in I need to be correct with canvases I think 
monogram only for the classic and then I think it comes in epi leather yes this is the difference between this and the cosmetic case PM there is no way absolutely no way I would get this in there there are my two fit me foundations that I just showed you standing upright so they're standing upright and then we have primers I have my Adriwine concealer two uh two face melted lipsticks I have another correction foundation down inside there I mean and that's not even completely full we can keep going I have an emery board I have a sample of infallible foundation and it is just it's a TARDIS it just keeps going the easy access of the zipper is so great I will definitely review this guy if you guys want to see it this is my toiletry 25 I would say half moon shape um, that I I mean I've had it for years and I've got good use out of it you can see by the patina on the piping there but I could compare them I can go over it what would you need it for because trust me I didn't think I needed it I was like no not another pouch how ridiculous but the monogram is really carefree compared to the multicolor I hate saying that I love my cosmetic uh, case PM in uh, noir multicolor that I have and I've raved about and I showed in so many favorites but to just be a little bit worry free with monogram throwing it in and out of my cosmetic drawer my makeup drawer it's just a bit easier on the heartstrings so that is that I could not go through favorites without showing you and mentioning my beloved baby <laughs> my speedy B 25 this is only towards the end of August I only changed my bags out last week and I've only been carrying it for a matter of four days but I don't care this is a favorite because it's back in my life I think for the first day that I had it back I just stared at it on the shelf this bag is heaven to me heaven to be honest I find it really really difficult the amount of emails or questions I get especially on you know Instagram on snapchat people asking about speedies prints sizes bandolier classic what do you think Jerusha should I get it starter bag mummy bag college bag it's crazy the amount of questions I get speedy over never full the, the competition of the two shapes tote versus the you know top handle zipper closure it's just non-stop and all I can tell you is you have to have to go and try them on if you don't live near a boutique I I feel sorry for you because trying the items on is just hands down the best way you are going to work out what suits your body the best what suits your style the best I know one of my friends only wears Ibin she will only wear Damia Ibin and it works for her it's perfect on her it suits her it suits her coloring everything like that I am clearly a complete monogram addict I know that I know I'm addicted to monogram that's fine there's a lot of us out there and each to their own really but you have to go or try on a friends or whatnot especially with the sizes I get so many questions 25 30 what do you think da 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 I am five seven five seven and a half I am curvier this bag still works for me I don't mind if you are bigger and curvier I don't think it necessarily matters it's not as if I felt like with my never full PM it was far more obvious of like it looked like a little teeny bag on me again I'm sorry if I haven't replied to questions or emails uh, I just get a lot of them you've really got to understand when I say that a lot so I, I get there it's all me I do it by myself a lot of people have requested so many videos but one of them is a year update it's actually two years but a two-year update on this bag how do you get the patina how did it patina so well so quickly and a lot of people know that because I have the luggage tag that I got through my friend Lisa the world according to Lisa helped me get this you can see 
the lighter <laughs> vachette leather here versus the actual vachette leather on the bag. I mean, it's just, look at that. It's just absolute honey, you guys. That was a completely off the track story. The point of this being in my favorites is because of these zippers. So I put a post on Instagram that I had got it back. My zipper pulls had been fixed. Serena sent it off for me and they put new zipper pulls on it. No, it was free of charge because it was within a time that I had bought it overseas. So I'm not sure if it will cost you, say, if your zipper pulls do it after a certain amount of time. There's a there's like a year, a year and a half gap with some boutiques where they will fix things. So as I said, go and check with your SA. But my zipper pulls were turning in on themselves and now they've been replaced. And I'm certain that these are bigger. They're much bigger. And I think that was maybe the reason with the model I had. That is my Speedy B25. I had to show it. And... Lastly, for this favorites for this month, can anyone guess? I have to review it. Yes, I saw everyone's comments in, in my unboxing of this beautiful item that I shouldn't put it down inside. No, I won't put it down inside. I was just doing it for that video to see if it fit. Maybe you have a monogram or a Damio Bin zippy coin purse so it would fit. It was just example purposes. I know everyone was really worried because it will rub off because of the white blanc multicolor. It will transfer, especially in the red interior of the newer Neverfulls, the, the NM model, it transfers, it bleeds. I know, I, I, they can't get that right. Anyway, I'm not gonna do it, so don't fret. This is my Zippy coin purse in monogram multicolor blanc, which is the white. I have done an unboxing on it. I have not done a review on it as yet, but trust you me, I can, I got this pre-loved, sorry I didn't say that. I got this pre-loved off Brandworks. I cannot wait to review this for you guys because it was one of those surprise items I was really surprised I didn't know if it was gonna work for my lifestyle I didn't know if it was too small too nitty-gritty to get in but trust me Wow I love being surprised I love being surprised by items so that is it sorry I rushed it we are running out of light and I wanted to get a video up tonight for you guys so that is it. That is my August favorites for 2015. I do hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what your favorites were this month. If they involved baton, if they involved makeup, because I'm getting so into it, girl. Look at these eyes today. Look at these eyes today. We have just been watching way too much Jacqueline Hill, that is for sure. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so, that would be great. And I will see you in my next video. Take care, guys. Peace. Hand in hand, just a